Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I always heard that neglecting your plan actually made them growing good. This time after visiting our family for a week, I came back home with tons of surprises on my plans. Let me show you guys what I got this time. I will start with orchid, then hoya, lastly indoor plant. If you just want to watch one type of the plant, I'll put the time in the description so you can check that one out. Here is a dendrobium type orchid, it's called dendrobium angiocasis. I'll put the name on the screen. It's a tiny orchid, as you can see with my hand next to it. But it's so beautiful, it's a pure white flower with a little bit, little bit of purplish yellow in the lip. It doesn't have a fragrance right now, it just bloomed I believe. But I remember it has a really light fragrance, it smells really good. It's already bloomed the past winter, so now it's bloomed again in the summertime. I don't really know why, but I'm glad. It's so beautiful. Here is my Ivana Apple Blossom Fantasy Orchids, one of my favorites. I want to show you guys because after it finished bloom this spring, I divided the rhizome into two and put it in the same pot. Hope it will produce a lot of new growth, and it did. Let me show you. So here's one. This is another one. And there's one hiding in here. And here's the fourth one. I can see there's some more spout to coming out, so I'm not really sure how many I'm gonna get or how many flowers I'm going to get next, but I'm excited about it. Just look at this new growth. So many. Here are the two flowers that has flower spikes growing in them. I really don't remember what color those are, so I'm really excited to see their flowers. They didn't bloom the past winter or this spring and I put them in the under my grow lights shelf. I think when I turn off the grow lights at night and turn back um, in the daytime, it kind of produce a temperature change. That's how it makes them produce flower spike. I'm not really 100% sure, but that's the only thing I can think of. But I'm excited. This is one of my newest orchids. I did an unboxing video on it. It's the Bangkok Sunset. I just want to show you how much it has grown. You can see these top two leaves. They are massive. I might give too much light than it's really needed as it has a purple tint to it. It sits right in the center of my growing light because it's so tall. So it's kind of closer to the light source than the or other orchids. So I might have to adjust the location or a different part, I think. But overall, I'm really happy with it. This orchid doesn't have much growing on the top, except the newest leaf is really big. But it has tongue growing in the bottom. Let me show you. You see the roots? I reported this orchid earlier this spring and all the old roots survived and it's growing tons of root tips and look at that i'm excited i normally use orchid, or orchid bark and sphagnum and i don't really have good results with all my fowl so i tried this new medium this year and oh my gosh i can't believe it so i'm really excited I want to show you this orchid. I got it from Thailand and it just never grow. I think I ordered back two or three years ago and more than half of the orchids I ordered from Thailand died on me. But this one started to grow this year. It's called Phalaenopsis zebrina. As you can see, it's come with these leaves and another leaves, I believe. And this is the only one left. And then it started growing one tiny leaves 
and then the other one and here is the newest one as compared to the new leaves this is the largest one so i think it survived here is another orchid that i ordered from thailand survived i'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name i'm just gonna put the name on the screen so it came with several leaves and somehow i got a crown in the center so it has a crown rod i'm just glad i didn't kill the orchid and it started to grow a new shoot from the side and it's become a baby orchid so i'm really excited now we are moving on to hoya i have more than 100 of orchids if i keeps going we're gonna be here forever this is my fishtail hoya i show you guys before but look at this new growth it just i'm so excited because i killed one of this hoya before and I heard it's really hard to grow but I'm just excited to see the new girls right here I think it survived for sure hopefully finger crossed here is my no ID Hoya as I don't really sure what kind of Hoya it is I found a, a similar Hoya to this one it's called Hoya Karina or something like that but I'm not really 100% sure because I don't have, I can't find a lot of pictures or information on that Hoya. But I want to show you the Hoya and the trellis, not really. I want to show you how much it has grown. And look at that. Did you see what I'm seeing right here? I think that's a flower pachanko, I believe. And I'm so excited because I had this Hoya for more than two or three years. It just never growing on me. I had no idea what I was doing with the Hoya. I just put there, hope it will grow. And I just never figured it out. Until this year, I started to pay attention on Hoya, collecting them and learn about them. And this Hoya just keeps growing for me. And now I'm about, I'm about to have a flower. So I'm excited and also look at the leaf. I just love those leaves. It's so pretty. Here are more Hoyas. I just want to show you the new growth on them. So I just showed you last time that there is a new leaves growing and it fell off. But look at this one. It's grow taller. I also repot it into my uh, mixed soil and it looks better I'm not really sure about that I know there's a carry eye carry eye variegated and there was another type of carry eye but I don't think this is the other type I forgot the name of it but I just want to show you the new girls in here here is my Canosa Wellboard grape and look at this two new girls out there it's so cute it's so dark purple with a herring top and then the new baby leaves is purple too it's just so cute and uh, next is my hoya bella as you can see there's a tons of new girls but I want to show you something else right here. You see it? I think that's a Patongo, the tiny little one right here. So I'm excited. I got it as cutting and now it has a Patongo on it. So I can't wait to see what flower looks like. Now we are moving on to indoor plant. Here is my sweet cheese. You can see it's growing a lot. I actually cut this one um, branch into four and rooted myself because I like a bushy looking plant than just the one long one and somehow this one just keeps growing longer and uh, faster than all the other but it looks really good here is my paleo plant I think that's what it's called our Chinese money plant. When I first got this last year, it was the size of this one, a little bit bigger than this baby one, as you can see. 
Oh, I think I just never mind. And now it's growing so much this year, and it also grow a new baby. I'm still trying to figure out how to make this thing go growing straight. I rotate it like every other day, but somehow I could have figured out to make it growing straight. I mean, it's better, but it's not straight straight yet. It's such a cute plant. Here is my split leaf baby plant. I have the mother plant outside. When trimming it out, the mother plant this year. I trim out this baby plant and put it in the pot for about four months it didn't grow anything this time when coming back I saw this leaf and I was so excited it means it still survived and it's now growing its own and it looks so good this is my alocasia plant it didn't grow for several months. Of course, it didn't grow during the winter season either. I wasn't sure if it went dormant or it just didn't happy with it. It took me a while to figure out what this plant really needed, but I think I'm getting it. So this is the newest leaf. It just grown this uh, late spring or earlier summer, and it's such a glossy looking, good looking leaf. It's definitely a hard plant. You really have to figure out what it really wants. Otherwise, it would just go dormant. This is probably one of the hardest plants I ever growing. I forgot the name of it, so I'll put the name on the screen. It's such a beautiful plant, but it's so hard to grow. It has a lot of requirements you had to meet in order for it to grow. So as you can see, when I first got it, it has it's got really good, and then it's kind of went dormant. So this the leaf that stayed there, all the other leaves they're all gone, and it just went dormant during the summertime, and took me almost a year to figure this thing out. I'm just glad I didn't die, and then I started to growing uh, new leaves. They all growing really tiny compared to the, the oldest leaf, it was growing really, really tiny. And finally starting to grow bigger leaves, grow taller, bigger leaves. So I think I'm finally get what this plant want and it's become happy. But it's definitely a plant that you need to do tons of research to figure out what it really needs. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you like it, please click thumb up, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Happy growing! Hey Scarlet, say bye!